Yes. Oh. So, the F-16A IDF. The F-16s have been my favourite plane since I was a kid, due to its looks, and still is today. So I'm happy that they've started to add the F-16s into the game. The thing just looks so beautiful. I mean, just look at it. But we've noticed a bit of a control there in the sky. So we know that there's going to be an enemy plane there. So I'm just starting to have a look at the dots to see if I can get a lock with my AM9L. I think he's pretty far away, but I'm going to test my luck. And I'll let the AM9L fly. I'm just hoping that he stops flaring, and as soon as he does, off goes that AM9L. And I notice that he's almost 7 kilometers away, so I wasn't really expecting this to hit. And one thing that I will say about this plane is I do realise a lot of people are saying it has amazing flight performance. Um, I mean, it is fast, of course, but I do feel like this thing is quite a brick. It does get a bit manoeuvrable as you go into the lower speed, somewhere between, I don't know, maybe 500 to 850. But sometimes I've been finding it quite hard to stay in that range, you know, when you're in a dogfight trying to manoeuvre, or if you are using the air brake, taking it off, reducing your throttle. It just has a few more things, well, not really complexities, but you know what I mean, into the dogfight. But we're above a group of enemies and this is a good position for me these top tier games don't last long at all I mean for the most part <laughs> a lot of people get killed at the start by either radar missiles or just by getting shot in the furball and we're looking to be the one that's shooting on the furball let a missile go on the MiG-29 and also let one go on the MiG-23 and we turn our attention towards the F-104. We managed to get two kills from both of those missiles. So that leads in kill number three. And we're just flaring off this MiG-29's missile. These AIM-9Ls can be quite effective, but they're not as flare resistant as I feel like they used to be. But that's okay. I think all missiles should be, you should be able to flare them in my opinion. And we're just trying to see what we can do to help our team out here. Because I have a feeling that our team's going to crumble, which happens in pretty much all games. And the F-104 manages to flare the AIM-9L. And we keep our afterburner on here going into the dogfight. Something that you shouldn't really do, but the F-104 is not manoeuvrable. And I want to keep up speed in case he tries to run away. I miss those shots there. And now I do decide to turn off my afterburner and throttle down just so I can pull in that bit tighter to end up on his six and at this moment I think there's a good chance I'm going to be a gunner I got a MiG-29 and a MiG-27 coming for me so I quickly shoot the AIM-9L off on the F-104 dodge the guns and the missile of the MiGs and that missile luckily does connect for kill number four I was tempted to go vertical and just go straight into a dogfight but I've just carried on vertical and flare away the MiG-27's missile which I'm guessing was an R60 and I'm trying to see if I can get these guys into a bit of a dogfight now I'm at the speeds where the F-16 performs best F-14 comes in just in time and it looks like the MiG-27 dodges that missile maybe hit him a bit but my M9L does connect for kill number 5 and the last enemy here is the MiG-29 so we're going to try and kill him whilst he's on the 6 of the F-14. Props to the F-14, Quing. He did try and make it an easier shot. I'm sorry man, I just could not aim at this moment. Looks like some of those rounds should have hit but they didn't. And at this moment I'm starting to, I wouldn't say stress a bit but I think you know what I mean. I want to try and help my team out and make sure he survives so he looks like he's making the shot easier for me and of course as all easy shots I completely whiff the shots and unfortunately the friendly F-14 is going down 
managed to get a few more shots off and luckily they land on target and take his wing off for kill number six. So I was mistaken earlier, that wasn't the last guy I thought it was. There is another MiG, but I remember that he unfortunately does crash into the ground once I go to the airfield and rearm. So that is all from me. I will show you the rewards as always. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Over and out.